Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the High Elf chapter. I'm back on my Magicka Dragonite with a heavy attack one shot build. It's similar to my previous one with Sergeant's Mail. It's almost 3k weapon spell damage to your fully charged heavy attacks. It's insane. Combined with the medium armor set Storm Master, I swapped out Infallible Eater just because of corrosive armor instead of the Restoration Ultimate, you use Corrosive for max penetration. We don't need the Restoration Ultimate with Major Falls. We already have Oaken Soul for that. Look at this treasure. It gives 13 permanent buffs. Major Berserk, Major Courage, Brutality, Sorcery, Prophecy, etc. And even Major Heroism for more ulti region points. The negative part, we cannot bar swap anymore, which is Okay, we don't need the back bar to be honest for this kind of build. And as filler, just one bar log for extra weapon damage. I'm on 6 medium armor pieces, full divines with max magic glyphs of course, and one heavy. Sergeant is sadly a heavy armor set, that's why I need to slot one heavy. Full infused weapon damage on the jewelry, thanks to molten armament. We gain minor brutality with the passive, where is it, here, Mountain's Blessing, 10% extra weapon damage for 20 seconds. And front bar, Inferno stuff still, but in Niln instead of Sharp, we don't need penetration like I said before, we already have max penetration with Corrosive Armor. Skills, we only have one bar, so pretty simple, skill bar with Camouflage Hunter, for minor berserk and extra 3% weapon damage uh, through Slayer. Then Equilibrium, we need it for the Empowered buff, which gives 40% extra damage on heavy attacks. Barb Trap just slotted for extra 3% weapon damage. Chain Exploration for minor force, 10% extra crit damage. Morton Armaments which increases our heavy attacks by 50% and it gives minor brutality, the 10% extra weapon damage and our ultimate corrosive armor for max penetration. Race Stunmer, probably best in slot, together with High Elf and followed by Khajiit. Mundus, still the Shadow for extra crit damage and a buff food, this time max health, max magicka, we don't need ghastly eyeball anymore. You can even go with the green max magicka food. Still Vamp stage 4. For the passives, strike from the shadows, 300 extra weapon spell damage, dark stalker, and unnatural movement. If you continuously spin for 3 seconds, you automatically become invisible. We are not a nightbird here, we don't have cloak, shadow disguise. That's why I use just the Vamp Stage 4 to get in height. Attribute points 64 in Magicka and Potions. The Essence of Invisibility, which gives Cloak for 15 seconds, and Mage Expedition, the 30% extra movement speed. CPs, Deadly Aim, Mastered Arms, Weapons Expert, and Backstabber. And Red CP, Rejuvenation, Bounders, Vitality, Celebrity, and Slippery. Quick talk about the combination. Super simple, pre-buff yourself with Chant Exploration and Molten Armaments, then Corrosive Army Ultimate and use the Invis Potion directly afterwards to get back in height again. So watch out for Armaments and Corrosive, both skills bring you out of stealth. After your Ultimate, use a fully charged Heavy Attack into Equilibrium to get the Empowered buff and voila, see your target. Now enjoy some more gameplay footage, thanks for watching, have a nice day guys, and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace. It's so hard to open my eyes I'm blind to the light from the sky I'm dealing with things I can write And all of you know it's been no easy road But I keep working harder, going harder just
just to prove something Burning out, I can't do shit for weeks Guess I prove nothing Everybody wants my work for free I know you have the money Things are looking different I'm not putting up with you, not anymore And I know you think you're still to take advantage Take advantage And you always took my 